Hello, and welcome to the Gamer Collective's video review of Watch Dogs. Ubisoft Montreal brings us an online, offline, third-person, open-world game for PC, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, and PS3. Today I'll be reviewing the PC version. Watch Dogs is an open-world game with a twist. You play as Aiden Pierce, the one-button hacker of Chicago. Aiden, using his cell phone, is able to control the operating system of the entire city. Using CTOS, Aiden can pull off some fun tricks like stealing random civilians' money, which, for some reason, you have to visit an ATM to collect. Because like all good hackers, Aiden knows the safest place to keep your money is under your mattress. Aiden's safe houses include the ability to change clothes and to change time. This reviewer highly recommends on every login setting the time for roughly 7pm. And cross your fingers that it is raining because while the graphics in this game are impressive, they are at their extreme best at night in the rain. When the graphics are working well, they look great, with amazing textures that jump off the screen from Aiden's jacket and buildings reflecting off the sidewalk in the rain. This game truly deserves credit for its beauty. NVIDIA has worked with Ubisoft to incorporate some impressive technologies, like HBAO Plus and TXAA. The eye candy the effects produce can be jaw-dropping. Unfortunately though, not all gamers have been having the same experience. PC gamers have been met with unimpressive frame rates, graphical glitches, and crashes. Ubisoft has tweeted that they are working on a PC patch as a high priority and we will look forward to seeing the improvements it brings. In the meantime, I recommend disabling SLI and using textures on medium or high to get decent frame rates with a mid-tier PC. Using FXAA or SMAA may also help you get the few extra frames you need. While traversing the city in a vehicle, you may be greeted by intrusive frame spikes that can get annoying, but once you get past the graphical performance issue, there lies a rather addictively fun game underneath. While you play through the storyline of Watch Dogs, you will meet all types of interesting characters like Viceroy's gangbanger, Tyrone Bedbug Hayes, or Elite Basement Hacker, Raymond T-Bone Kenny, who happens to be a lush. The side characters all feel detailed and interesting, which is a good thing because the bland personality of Aiden and his best impersonation of a Batman voice would make the story stale otherwise. The minigames and side quests act as a welcome distraction from the main storyline and help break up the somewhat repetitive gameplay. Unfortunately, the side quests and minigames can also feel slightly repetitive. While it seems in an open world game anything can happen, every successful crime event you stop will result in a tedious foot chase. Other side missions, like gang hideouts, will let you earn XP and skill points. These missions give you the choice to use your stealth tactics to take down the enemies or go in guns blazing for some intense firefights. Evading the cops is relatively easy using your hacked minimap to see all of the roadblocks and vehicles of the fuzz in the area. 
Aiden apparently doesn't have amazing multitasking abilities because he is unable to shoot weapons or use any explosives while in or on a vehicle. So you will need to use the environment to loot any enemies. Hacking traffic lights, bursting steam pipes, raising roadblocks, or lifting spike strips with the press of a button is an interesting mechanic. You will not, however, always see the results of your hacks, and it can feel a bit anticlimactic to finally get away from the police or enemies and not see what happened to them because they were behind you. Riding around the city on a motorcycle feels like the fastest way to get around. Arcade-like handling for most vehicles and semi-lackluster physics turns telephone poles into giant broken toothpicks and can make fences seem like they were made with tinfoil, but it doesn't detract from the gameplay in a significant way. Online modes like tailing can feel a bit one-dimensional, but overall help to add to the game's diversity. You can trigger online sessions from your phone or get random online opportunities in-game. You can even play against players on an iPad in an interesting mobile challenge where you have to race the streets and avoid the police that the mobile user is commanding. Customization is severely lacking and feels like a giant missed opportunity. You can purchase stock vehicles and weapons, but you cannot customize them. The only apparent customization is Aiden's clothing, and while there are a decent amount of options, they all look very similar. Overall, despite its performance issues and somewhat repetitive gameplay, I find the game highly addicting and it really is just enjoyable to hang out at the Bean, hack some bank accounts, and blow stuff up in a visually stunning virtual Chicago. The GC gives Watch Dogs 4 out of 5 stars, with the caveat that unfortunately there is no watching dogs in the game. Join us at thegc.tv for more social gaming.